Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In the name of Allah, most merciful, most compassionate. All praise be to Allah, peace and blessings be upon the Prophet Muhammad and all the Prophets from Adam to him, peace be upon them all. We human beings, though created with all kinds of potentialities, faculties, Allah Almighty equipped us with best form. But we lose sometimes hearts, we lose hopes, we may fall into despairs because of the different conditions, hardships, calamities, diseases we may face. Especially nowadays, as all humanity is struggling to cope with this outbreak, we are somehow in a desperate situation. But men of spirituality like Mevlana, Rumi, who follows the teachings of the Quran and the Prophet, encourages us to keep our hope, to keep our faith, never lose our heart and never fall into despair. Therefore, today I would like to share with you Mevlana Rumi's beautiful advice for us and keep us, our service, always strong and hopeful, never lose heart and hope. And I have selected two passages, one from the Masnavi, one from the Fihimapi. Let me go through first his couplets from the Masnavi. Memlana addresses his message to all of us. Do not go to the neighborhood of despair. There are hopes. Do not go to the direction of darkness. There are suns. No, no, do not despair at all. Make yourself cheerful. Call for help of him, meaning creator, our Lord, who will come to your call. And by saying to him, forgive us, O our Lord, Creator, you love to forgive. You have a medicine for diseases, for all kind of diseases and difficulties. O my brother, then listen this wisdom. And Mevlana alludes in his couplets to a couple of verses from the Quran. After all, Quran is his main source, main reference inspiration for him, for all of us, of course. He's referring to Zumar, chapter 39, 53. He says, Allah has smitten the neck of despair, meaning smashed the neck of despair. And he turned even your sin, your uh, errors and disobedience, if you are faithful, into obedience and goodness. And, but provided that you will never lose and hope and never despair of the mercy of Allah. And la taqnatun rahmatillah. Of course, this is the verse from the Quran. And he has the power to change evil acts into good acts. Since he had changed, he changed evil acts. He makes it an act of obedience in, in despite of slander. Or he is alluding to this verse from the Quran, chapter 25, 17. hasanat. Allah will change their evil acts into, into good deeds. If, you know, so long as they make repent. They repent, they turn to Allah with sincerity. And Mevlana, of course, warn us about loneliness. When, because of loneliness, if you fall into despair, Mevlana says, you become a son under the shadow of the friend. Who is the friend? Mevlana will explain now. Go, seek at once the friend of Allah. When you have done so, Allah is your friend. Of course, Allah is, is you know, left for us uh, through the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, the Quran and the Prophet. So those who follow the Quran and the Prophet will become, you know, a heart comforter for us. And uh, uh, so you seek a friend that will give you comfort. Who are they? Who are, are They are the friends of Allah. We have, of course, the Quran and the Prophet, those who follow the footsteps of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And again, Mevlana continues, 
relief comes into the heart from faith. So if you lose your faith, there will be no relief. Weakness of faith, Mevlana again emphasize, is despair and torment. Then call upon Allah, as Quran says, وَقَالَ رَبُّكُمْ عُدُونِي أَسْتَجِبْ لَكُمْ And uh, your Lord says, call on me, I will answer your prayer. And so Mevlana says, call upon Allah, do not refrain lamenting to him, from lamenting to him, in order that the milk of his loving kindness may flow into your heart, may flow in you. And again, uh, Mevlana warns us, warns us, sometimes economic also difficulties, and as humanity also, most of the people now are unemployed. And under these circumstances, Mevlana also gives hope for us. He says, from the Quran, referring to this ayah, Allah is the one who has created everything for you. And have you have not you heard in the sky is your daily bread? Why have you stuck to this low place? Do not lose hope. And again, do not fall into traps of the evil or the devil. What the devil says? And Satan threatens you with poverty under these difficult times, during these difficult you know, circumstances and crisis. So deem your fear and despair to be the voice of this devil, drawing your ear to the abyss of degradation you know, and, uh, and, and, and loneliness. So what help, help is there then? if you do not seek refuge in the one who will give you refuge. Despair is a copper, the elixir, the cure is the faith in, in your heart. Then lay your despairs before him that you may escape from irremediable pain. Look at what happened to Jacob from, from you know, Prophet Yaqub is upon him. Once he told it to his sons, do your search for Joseph, for Yusuf, beyond bounds. Why? Again, from Surah Yusuf. وَلَا تَيْأَسُوا مِنْ رَوْهِ اللَّهِ إِنَّهُ لَا تَيْأَسُوا مِنْ رَوْهِ اللَّهِ إِلَّا الْقَوْمُ الْكَافِرِينَ Oh, my sons, go and find about Joseph, Yusuf, and his brother, and despair not of relief from Allah. Indeed, no one despairs of relief from Allah except those who are ungrateful. In this search then, direct every sense towards every sight like one that is ready. Mevlana again says, do not despair the breath of Allah, the mercy of Allah. The Prophet said, Mevlana continues, despair is wicked. Grace and the mercies of the Creator are infinite. It is not proper the despair of such a benefactor, you know, all merciful, who gives grace and mercy, cling to the saddle trap of his mercy. Many a plight be became hard in the beginning, afterwards it was relieved and hardship passed away. Of course, Mevlana again refers to this uh, uh, verse from the Qur'an in Shirah 94, 5 and 6. Fa usri yusra. After every difficulty there is relief. With every hardship there is relief and ease. Certainly Allah promised again, after every difficulty there comes relief. So Mevlana again forcefully declares, after despair, there are many hopes. After darkness, there are many suns. And sometimes you may look back and be regretful what you have done. It is also a lesson for you to learn from the past. And, but what keeps you strong again, according to Mevlana? Keeping your hope and faith. And 
Now come, Mevlana says, do not despair. When Allah wills, light will arrive from heaven instantly in a single moment. At every instant, his power causes a hundred influences from the stars to reach the minds. Ease is accompanied as Allah promises by difficulty. Come then, do not despair. Through this death, you have the way into life. And Mevlana, in his Fihi Mafi, in response to a question by one of his disciples, says, by God, by Allah, we must always have hope. Faith itself consists of fear and hope. Hope itself is good, but what is this fear? And Mevlana says, show me fear without hope. A hope without fear. There are, these two are inseparable. For example, a farmer plants wheat, naturally he hopes that wheat will grow. But at the same time, he's afraid there might be drought or flood may destroy it. So there is no hope without fear. Fear without hope. Now, when we hope expectantly for a reward, we will surely work with the great effort. And expectation becomes our wings. And the stronger you, our wings, the farther the flight. If, on the other hand, we lose hope, we become lazy and of no value to anyone. Look at Nevlana says, a sick person will take bitter medicine and give up 10 civic pleasures. But if they have no hope for health, why would they endure this? And it is very wrong, Mevlana again puts emphasis, to regret the past. What is gone will not come back. To remember it is of no avail. لا تقنة من رحمة الله إن الله يغفر الذنوب جميعا إنه هو الغفور الرحيم. And this from Zumar 39:53, addressing to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. O Muhammad, tell my servants who have committed wrongs since injustice to themselves but tell them do not despair of the mercy of Allah Allah certainly forgives all sins he is after all all forgiving all merciful may Allah's peace and blessings be upon you all